All people round the earth rejoice to God most high our sovereign King. Serve God with a cheerful heart and voice. With all your tongues, God's glory sing. Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Sunday, March the 23rd. It's the third Sunday in Lent and the scripture for this service, Psalms 93 and 96. John chapter 5, verse 25 to 29, and a canticle from Revelation chapter 4, verse 9, and chapter 5, verse 9 through 10 and 12. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. You reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. Psalms 93 and 96. You reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. You establish the world so that it cannot be moved. Your throne is established of old. You are everlasting and evermore. The floods have lifted up, the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. You are on high. You are mightier than the noise of many waters. Yes, than the mighty waves of the sea. Your testimonies are sure and holiness becomes your dwelling forever. We sing to you a new song. All the earth sings to you. We sing to you and bless your name and proclaim your salvation from day to day. We declare your glory among the nations, your wonders among all the peoples. For you are great and greatly to be praised. You are to be feared above all gods. For the gods of the nations are but idols, because it was you who made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before you. Strength and beauty are in your sanctuary. We give you glory and strength. We give you the glory due your name. We bring offerings and come into your courts. We worship you in the beauty of your holiness. All the earth trembles before you, and we say among the nations that you reign, and the world you established shall not be moved and you judge the peoples righteously. Let the heavens rejoice, and let the earth be glad, and let the sea roar, and all therein thunder praise. Let the field be joyful, and all therein shout for joy, and then all the trees of the wood will rejoice before you. For you come, you come to judge the earth, you will judge the world with righteousness, and the people with truth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. You reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 5, beginning at verse 25. Very truly, I tell you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be astonished at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and for the world. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. 
for Tom and Alan and Ray and Richard and Don, and for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the mercy of God community and for the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia. For the poor and the hungry, for the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. You are worthy, O Christ, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and for your pleasure they are and were created. You are worthy to take the book and to open its seals. For you were slain, and by your blood you redeemed for God, saints from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have made us to be rulers and priests to serve our God, and we will reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and glory and honor and blessing. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.